So, first of all, Happy New Year. I hope everyone had a good Christmas. I hope you got some presents you can take out on the bank this year. Um, I'm on a small river today. It's a day ticket water run a commercial fishery. And I'm going to be doing some light lure fishing. Hopefully I can pick up some chub, perch or pike. Whatever will take a lure really. Um, my first plan of attack will be creature baits. Now I know this river is full of crayfish, so the fish in here are going to be chomping them. So hopefully by matching the hatch I can pick up a few fish today. Um, second plan of attack, because it's a small river, is the drop shot. If it will focus, I don't think it will. But most of the time the fish in these rivers are holed up in really small holes and you're not really casting the jig head to kind of search for the fish they're normally in a really small area so with the drop shot I can really target that area and work a little really slowly and hopefully wave it in the fish's noses and they'll grab it yeah let's go and give that a go just slowed down a bit here it's a nice slack on the inside there's another slack on the far bank sure that far bank's left on the near bank side. There's more creature bait gone. Just as a little tip, when I rig these um, creature baits, I've threaded a small bead here on the, on the bend of the hook so I've threaded it over the point I've let it sit there just up by the eye so it pinches the bait in place and that way it won't slide down when, when you get snagged or at any point you're working the lure and it'll sit in the right position like so constantly
hopefully Sean. It's a little jack. It's fighting hard in this current. <laughs> there we go. Easy. It's long grass, so I'm not too fussed about an unhooking that here. And he's absolutely smashed the creature bait. Won't be able to just pick it out. As long as he doesn't shake about, be all right. That is a nice start. I'm gonna put him in a bit further downstream. in case oh I don't feel safe let's get the net So I'm going to release him downstream just in case there's any more where he's come from. He's charged up, he's ready to go. If he'll just let me get his head out, and there he goes. After releasing that pike, I worked the swim for a little while longer, but I had no more interest. I then began to explore more of the river. Most of it was shallow and quite fast paced. Although you may sometimes find fish in these areas, at this time of the year, I feel a lot more confident targeting the deeper, slacker water. So, for this reason, I headed back upstream to a spot I felt quite confident in. Right, so this looks like the most likely spot on the whole river. Fish on. 
What we got? Chub. Huge fish, but we'll take that. If I can just get it in. Yeah. Oh, I definitely smashed the crayfish in here. Just unhook him. There we go. What we're gonna do is I'm just gonna keep him down there in the net. So if there are the fish around here it gives me the best chance of catching them without spooking them <laughs> going for all the snags but there we go double up on the chub and there have it two small river chub they absolutely love crayfish Not the biggest, but good fun, especially on light tackle. And when there's loads of snags about, let's get them back. Unfortunately, that's all I've got time for today but at least I haven't started the year with a blank. Um, hopefully this year I can get a bit more content out than I did last year. But anyway, if you like the video, like, subscribe for more, and hopefully I can get another video up soon. See you later.